Okay, I'll be honest with a lot of you guys, Halo 2 MCC on PC is literally broken and I'm very disappointed and so many people are too. You know before I entered in the Halo 2 flight test and I got to test the game before the official release, the flights were great. There was no in-game breaking bugs, so I was very confident with the release of Halo 2 that it would have a perfect launch. But boy, look how the tables turn. The release of Halo 2 PC is unacceptable. You know a lot of people claim that Halo Reach and Halo C had a bad launch on the PC, but when comparing those games to Halo 2 PC launch, Halo Reach and CE even had a good launch in comparison. I mean, yeah, I admit, Halo Reach had problems like having overpowered aim assist with controllers and missing audio. And Halo CE, you know, had problems with, you know, missing textures and shaders, transparent, whatever, but, but no way bad as Halo 2. The bugs I'm talking about in Halo 2 specifically are so damn severe. It's game breaking. And I'll show you in some videos. I don't have any, I don't have too many videos to show, but there's a lot of videos on YouTube. You can check out that Halo YouTube is made or probably better than mine so here we go the video you're seeing right now you can do this in matchmaking and this is very very common you can basically shoot the floor with a shotgun and get a lot of kills this isn't even hacks this is literally in the game everybody's doing this already it's crazy and you can use a plasma pistol too look at this footage here uh, yeah I didn't get a kill on anyone but I, I got an assist for it I basically broke someone's shield just by me hiding in the corner and shooting the ground while someone from my team killed him you guys are ready for another one? When you toss a grenade by you looking down, you end up getting the kills most of the time and it doesn't matter where they are or where they're hiding, you'll end up killing them. And sometimes you can betray your teammates too. You don't even see your grenades as you throw them, like, it, it's stupid. And look at this <laughs> rocket launcher footage here, it's hilarious. It happens to rockets as well. Look at this one. W where did my rocket's bullets go? Where did it go? I'm serious. The player that was in front of me should have died? But nope, I killed someone else and I could have easily, you know, killed my own teammates. You know, I could have easily betrayed them. So that was lucky for me. <laughs> and look at this footage here of me throwing the grenade. You don't even see me throwing the first grenade. But yeah, I, the second grenade, you actually see, you know, I stuck the grenade on the enemy player so I killed my opponent, which again, I was lucky. But that doesn't mean that's okay. There were a lot of situations where I didn't get so lucky because of this bullshit glitch, right? It's very frustrating because I was absolutely looking forward to Halo 2 releasing on Steam and this is what we get. Like I'm serious 343, what's the damn point of having, you know, flight testing and what happened to the part when it's ready, when it's ready? I mean, sure Microsoft might be pressuring you to release the games but that's a rubbish excuse because every almost, you know, every single game developer, you know, uh, company have a publisher, right? When Bungie were making Halo way back in the day, they kept up with the deadlines when they were with Microsoft and all the games had a good launch and not even game breaking issue existed back in the day. We all remembered Halo 2 in 2004 release, right? That was a rush game because Microsoft, you know, uh, pressured them but Bungie made sure that game kicked ass at launch and it did. It lived up to the hype. Meanwhile, T43 here didn't do anything about it. I swear to god if Halo 3 PC release date ends up like Halo 2 PC release, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be interesting, there's going to be an explosion of anger, like it's going to be scary when Halo 3 releases on PC, because currently if you guys don't know, Halo 3 is broken on Xbox One, I mean I haven't tried the game out you know, myself, but from what I've seen, it's terrible, and it's apparently a lot worse than ever before. Look, when Halo 3 launches on PC and it's completely broken, I don't want to have to make another video like this again, 343. I'm very serious, I didn't really enjoy making this video because this, you know, because this isn't a happy video, you know? It's more like a negative video, more like a rant video, and I don't want that kind of video on my channel ever again. Like, I want to talk about the positive things about the Halo games. I only made this video because, you know, I can't hide the truth, you know, like I have to be very honest because it's the only way we can get 343 to hear our voices and not pretend everything is okay. 343, if you're watching this, you need to get your crap together. You, you can't afford to mess up Halo 3 PC release. PC gamers have been waiting to finish the fight on PC and this applies with Halo Infinite also. Especially if you flop on Halo Infinite again, th then, then there's no way coming back. You can't come back and fix things. Infinite is your main last, last ultimate shot, 343. 
not only Halo Infinite needs to be a good Halo game, but also needs to launch successfully. Everything needs to be perfection at launch. So I heard that 343 are aware of the situation that's going on in Halo 2, and I think uh, they know why this bug, you know, is happening. So I'm just hoping to patch as soon as possible. I mean, as I'm making this video, they may have already patched it, so just a little heads up. Uh, what's worrying is that if they do end up fixing these bugs in Halo 2, would they end up breaking something else? You know, because that's what happened to Halo 3 MCC version. They made a massive update for the Halo MCC. I don't know what kind of update it was though, uh, but it broke Halo 3 completely. And that's why, you know, I'm very worried. And I'm worried for, you know, you know, Halo 3, you know, coming to the PC. Anyways, I think that's it for today's video. If you guys are new to the Halo channel, I do post uh, a lot of Halo videos and, uh, you know, almost every week. Uh, so be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell and follow me on Twitch for Halo streams. I'll be streaming a lot of Halo. Uh, I, I stream Halo full time. Uh, and I'll see you spawns in the next video. Bye.